Excellent in all your ways. You are marvelous. You are marvelous. You are marvelous. You are glorious in all your ways. There is none like you. There is none that can be compared to you. you. Make passive- Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. May your name be praised both now and forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, excellent one. All right. I welcome all of you for this uh, morning prayer. I hope you are doing great. May God bless you. May God strengthen you. May God be with you. May God enable you to do those things that you couldn't do. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we have a beautiful morning here. I hope you have a beautiful time over where you are. Okay. So when we wake up like this, or in the night before we sleep, or in the daytime, it is a good thing to pray. So we're going to pray the Psalm 56 this morning or whatever time it is over your side. Okay, so now last night we had a wonderful discussion. I continued the series on where are spirits and I gave an example of how a man would decide to kill another man based on the information that they have received. And I said, for example, if one is an extremist, a religious extremist. For that person to go and kill another man, there is a spirit that is controlling that man. There is a spirit. And people will ask, what kind of spirit? All the time you talk about spirit. What spirit is that? Okay? So when you check that man very well, you will find out that at a point in their life, at a point in their religious growth, they might have been told that it is good thing to kill another man who is not in the religion, who is not a member of their religion. So that becomes a spirit in that person until that one continues to drive the person and one day they do that, then they have failed and yielded, sorry, they have yielded to the uh, dictations of the spirit, which is that word that they received. 
now you see where the spirit is some people can receive these words but they are still good people they have a good will in their heart they can say no even though i'm a member of this religion i don't want to kill anyone i don't want to destroy life i don't want to steal from anyone okay so it means that it is possible to say no to words that uh, can cause one to do evil you can say no you might receive the word but it's your duty to say yes or no to that word so by saying yes or no to that word you have said yes or no to the spirit so that's why uh, people receive the word of god it is possible for them to say yes to the word of god and be controlled and uh, ruled by the word of god and it's also possible to say no and then they yield to the word of the evil one so now beloved you want to get more details about this discussion please go to the previous video this morning we're going to pray psalm 56 let us put our mind our heart and the attitude of prayer so just to conclude the previous discussion and i said that for you to be ruled by the spirit of god you must take the word of god seriously and at the when i was writing it i gave example of how why do you think every time people want to fly the flight the crew members will come out and then say someone some people will stand while others will demonstrate and they will be saying something when there is an emergency please there is a life jacket below and the rest of them so what they are doing is to program your mind with those words so those words become the spirit that will make you to take certain action when there is an emergency so without those information those spirits you will be surprised that when there is an emergency a lot more people will a lot more people might not survive okay when there is an emergency but because they have been told before time they have they've taken in the spirit which is the word that was given to them they will know what to do when there is an emergency at least majority will know those who really took the information seriously this is the same with those who hear the word of god some people don't take it seriously some people think it's just too much too much talk why some people listen carefully so that they can get the spirit behind it so may god bless his words in our hearts so let's pray let us pray thank you jesus come holy spirit make a mighty turn make a mighty turn in our life make a mighty turn in our business make a mighty turn in our activities may your name be praised both now and forevermore we thank you for the testimony of the counselor patient so i've mentioned before there was a woman who had cancer and she was already booked for surgery and she came to the church uh, at St. Mary's here. So on that day I was in the healing mass. After the mass, luckily, she met one of the brothers to pray for her. And the brother called me to join so that we can pray for her. And the way I spoke that day, you look at me, you, you'll be afraid for me. Say, Why is this guy so confident? I was telling the woman, this, this cancer will disappear. This cancer will not stand. <laughs> eh? It will not stand. Once we pray for you now, everything will go. Ha! Even you look at me, you will say, this guy, what's giving him so much confidence? <laughs> so this is part of what I was saying earlier. The confidence that we get is the confidence of the word of God. Because our God said, by his stripes, we are healed. And I took it seriously it became a spirit within me and i said cancer go cancer die in the name of jesus christ i told her by the time you go back to the doctor you will see what they will say ah, then you see and this woman came back the next month when we had the meeting again after the uh, the main program she came to me and said to me <laughs> it looks like god answered that prayer <laughs> and she was smiling she was smiling all through and i was like okay i just wanted to know what did the doctor say what did the doctor say 
and she said the cancer is now benign so me too i didn't really understand the meaning of i didn't understand the full meaning of that the cancer is now benign well i said okay i said what does that mean she said the doctor said the cancer is no longer dangerous how <laughs> and did they explain how they couldn't explain our god is excellent in all his ways he is marvelous it was just yesterday that i now got to know that when he said cancer is now benign which means that it's no longer cancerous hey i shouted i said ah, ah 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 i need to talk to that woman again glory to god almighty our god can do all things glory to his holy name thank you jesus thank you jesus so when we speak here we release spirits to change your situations do not take it for granted amen all right so we'll pray the psalm 23 psalm 56 psalm 56 thank you lord so father for all those who require your mercy right now i speak forgiveness over their life May their sins be forgiven in Jesus' name. May their sins be forgiven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You said, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. And whose sins you retain, they are retained. Right now, we forgive all of them. We release them from the causes of sin. We release them from iniquity. We release them from transgression. Anyone, O oh God, who is under the hook and bondage of sin, let them be removed now from that. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, beloved people of God, let us now put our hearts and mind to pray. Let us get set for prayer. We listen to what God is going to say to us as we pray right now. And we can say what we want God to do for us, even in our heart, or even as I say it together. So sometimes you might need to repeat after me. Sometimes you just need to flow within you and say those things that you want God to do while, I was pray while I'm praying. As you receive the word, run with it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Be merciful unto me, O God. For man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppressed me. Be merciful, our Father. Be merciful unto us, O Lord. Be merciful unto our family, Lord Jesus. Be merciful unto our community, Lord Jesus. Be merciful unto our nation, Lord Jesus. Let the evil not swallow us. Let evil men not swallow us. We prevent them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. They keep fighting against us, against our progress, against our life, against our career. They try to oppress us daily. Father, let it end right now in the name of Jesus. Let it end right now in the name of Jesus. Let it end right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me. O oh, thou most high. See, your children are calling upon you now. There are people who are going through this situation right now. Every day is like hell. Every day, so much trouble. The enemy press on all sides. They fight them daily. Oh Lord, our God, look upon your children with mercy. Look upon your children with favor. Deliver us, Lord, from the evil ones. Deliver us, Lord, in your mercy. Deliver us, Lord, in your mercy, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. So, child of God, this is a word for you. What time you are afraid, 
trust in the Lord. What time you are afraid, trust in the Lord. What time you are fearful, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Let your trust replace your fear. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. In God I will praise His word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Hallelujah. In God I will praise His word. In God I have put my trust. Child of God, where have you put your trust? Did you put your trust in your intelligence? Did you put your trust in your own abilities? Do you put your trust only on the things that you can do? In God, I have put my trust. Put your trust in God. If you put your trust in God, then the next statement is for you. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. This is the boldness of the child of God. Because our trust is in the Lord, we will not fear what man can do unto us. We will not fear what flesh can do unto us. We will not fear what the evil man can do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me forever. This is what they do. Every day they keep thinking evil against us. Every day, this is what they do. Father, let it change to our favor in the name of Jesus. Let the thoughts change to our favor in the name of Jesus. Let the thoughts change to our favor in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you, Lord. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves they mark my steps when they wait for my soul. <laughs> this is what they do, even until today. You see them, they are always busy meeting each other. They hide themselves in secret places and they watch our steps. They watch the steps of the children of God. They watch your step. They want to know every move you make. They want to know everything you say. They want to know all that you do. <laughs> Our trust is in the Lord. Our trust is in the Lord. Everything, every imagination, every surveillance will be for our good in the name of Jesus. We turn it for our good in the name of Jesus. It will be for our good. They will come to know the steps of the Lord as they look at us. As they continue to observe us, they will observe what God is doing. They will observe the life of God. They will observe the faithfulness of God. They will observe the goodness of God over our life. They will observe the mercy of God over our life. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Shall they escape by iniquity? <laughs> In thy anger cast down the people, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, people of iniquity, there is a warning for you. People of wickedness, there is a warning. Repent right now. Talk to them. Ask them to repent. Pray for them to repent. Repent, because the anger, the anger of God is near. The anger of God is by the side. The anger of God is by the side. So the children of God have released, O oh God. Let thy anger cast down, cast them down. In thy anger cast down the people, O oh God. The evil people cast them down in thy anger. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into my, thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? You know everything, O oh God. You know everything. 
You know everything that your children are going through. You know, Lord. You know, when I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. Hallelujah. So you must know this, that when you call upon the Lord, your enemies don't have any choice than to go back. They don't have any choice than to go down. <laughs> because we know for God is for us. God is for me. God is for you. God is for our family. God is for our nation. God is for our community. God is for us. God is for us always and every time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In God will I praise his word. It has come again. In the Lord will I praise his word. His word. Will I praise his word. The word of God is Jesus. The word of God is Jesus. The word of God is Jesus. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, Jesus. Glory to your mighty name, Lord. May you be praised both now and forevermore. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Here it comes again. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. It shows that this word has to come deeply from your soul. It has to come deeply from within you. In God have I put my trust. How many people put their trust in God? Ask yourself that question. Are you, are you sure that you put your trust in God? If you put your trust in God, why are you still afraid? Why are you still worried about what man can do to you? If your trust is truly in God, the Alpha and the Omega, the Finisher, the Excellency, the Beautiful One, the Excellent One, why are you still afraid? We need to grow to the stage where we know that if you trust God, there is nothing to fear. I trust God, so my fear has disappeared. Ha, ha, ha. And he never fails. If you really trust him. Some people are like this. Should I trust him or not? It's a risky thing to do. It's even more risky not to trust in the Lord. It's even dangerous to have a double mind about the Lord. You cannot have a double mind about Him. He is. He will be. He was. And He is eternity. He never loses time. <laughs> he doesn't need to, get, to gain time. His time is now. Once you trust in the Lord, get ready for your instant miracle. <laughs> ah, our God is too much. I will trust in the Lord. I have put my trust in the Lord. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. I put my trust in the Lord. And men keep telling me, you might fail. Are you sure you're not going to fail? And I will say to them, I put my trust in the Lord. I can never fail. I shall never be moved. 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 I put my trust in the Lord. I shall never be moved. I cannot fail. I am successful. I cannot fail. I am progressive. I cannot fail. I will get everything that the Lord has prepared for me. I will never fail. I will never fail. I will never fail. It will not happen. 
it will be a surprise to all of them when they see the glory of God. It will be a wonder to them when they see the power of God. Glory to Jesus. Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. So the confidence is in the Lord. He has said he will never fail. Why should I doubt? Why should I fear? Why should I worry? Your vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Thou hast delivered my soul from sickness. Thou hast delivered my soul from wickedness. Thou hast delivered my soul from evil men. Thou hast delivered my soul from poverty. Thou hast delivered my soul from evil, from the weapons of the evil one. Thou hast delivered my soul from material weapons. Thou hast delivered my soul from physical weapons. Thou hast delivered my soul from any kind of weapon, from any kind of death, from any kind of wickedness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You have saved my soul from death, the wicked one. Is it falling that you will not deliver me from? Will thou not deliver me from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You have delivered me from, from death. You will also deliver me from falling, so that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Nothing will take us out from the light of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So, child of God, if you believe, all the prayer that we've made is for you. It will be for you. It will work for you. It will dwell with you. It will walk with you. For Jesus Christ has said it and it is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We will conclude with Psalm 23. Verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Excellent One. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. May your name be praised both now and forevermore. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. So, beloved people of God, thank you for joining me in this prayer. It will definitely bring results to you. Join me again later in the evening when we have our review. So, after the review tonight and our podcast, I will not be able to come online until maybe the second day of uh, May. I will not be able to have this uh, prayers and evening sessions but feel free to go through the ones that we have already done feel free to go through the prayers that we've done the prayers made in those videos are not time bound they will continue to be effective as if it was now glory to god and the words spoken there are not time bound they will continue to be useful to you and to your family. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, I'll see you later in the evening. God bless you. Cheers. Show them the intimacy. Show them the completeness. When they ask, where is your God? Show them his love. Show them the completeness.